I'm going to tell you four of the main differences between the Catholic Church and the Protestant Church. First of all, you all know that uh, in the Catholic Church there are priests. The priests are married to the church. Therefore, they don't have spouses, they don't have kids. They're just devoted to, to going to, to church every Sunday, attending to their communities, to the people they are pastoring. And I have the Protestant Church, they have the pastors, which they can do get married, they do have salaries, and they have families, and they have other things to attend. Another important point is that for Catholics, salvation comes through faith, through beliefs in, in Jesus and God and, and the Scripture. And for Protestants, it simply comes through Jesus Christ, through accepting Jesus Christ, accepting that. He died for us on the cross, and we are already saved because of that. For Catholics, you have to also have good deeds. You have to do good things in the world. You have to make an impact to to gain your place in heaven. It's not, it's not only just given to us by Jesus Christ. You have to earn it in a way. Another important point is, for Catholics, the Pope is like Jesus Christ on earth. Every time we have a new Pope, the Catholics believe he's the representative of Jesus here on earth, he's the one that can, he has authority as a matter of faith and practice. He can, he, whenever he comes out and gives a speech, he, whatever he says is, the Catholics take it as, as something directly from, from Jesus, from God. And um, the Protestants believe that Jesus is the only head of the church, he's the only one that actually was here representing the real deal, you know. Um, another important point is, Catholics believe in, the, in, uh, in life and death, and when you die, you go to either heaven or hell, like all the Protestants do. But Catholics also believe in purgatory. What is purgatory? According to the Catholic Encyclopedia, purgatory is a place or condition of temporal punishment for those who, part of this life, in God's grace, are not entirely free of burial. <coughs> of burial for faults or have not totally paid their satisfactory dues to the transgressions they have committed. In other words, like if you have something, some matters that you don't resolve in this life, you go to purgatory and you stay there for a while, your soul and actually you know, And um, after a, a, a period of penance, repentance, you actually achieve your spot in heaven after a while. Catholics also have uh, seven main sacraments. They have, when you're born as a little kid, your parents, when you're about one year old, they take you and baptize you. You have no matter, you have no saying that you just take it to the church, and they baptize you. Then you have uh, the Eucharist, your first communion. You have to go to the catechism, and you, you learn about God now by your own means. You start to make your own beliefs and assumptions about your religion. And then you take a Eucharist for the first time. Then you have the confirmation. You're a little bit older. Now you can really think, if, hey, I want to stick with this religion. I want to go somewhere else. And if you do, you confirm your, your, your belief in the Catholic Church. And now you're accepting that you're a true Catholic. Another uh, sacrament that the Catholics have is uh, reconciliation. What is reconciliation? You go to the priest. And you confess any sins that you have committed lately that are, uh, have you in a discrepancy with the laws of Catholics. And uh, you, you tell him the sins, he'll give you a penitence. Like let's say, okay, you go and pray 10 Our Fathers and 2 Hail Marys. And, um, and you pray and you believe that we are absolved from those sins through reconciliation. Then we have marriage. Marriage is uh, also considered a sacrament, something very important for the Catholic Church. It's not just another stage. They also have um, holy orders. They believe that some of us on earth should devote our lives to the church, like I told you before. So they, they shouldn't be married. They should just focus on, on asking people and, and helping them achieve a spot in heaven. And also anointing of the sick. Anointing of the sick is like when someone's about to die, a priest goes to their to their hospital, to their house, or wherever they are, and then and they uh, they uh, give them their final reconciliation, and then there's 
believe that they are in peace and they can enter heaven now. Uh, these are the main ones that I thought would be important to mention. And I just have uh, some picture in here. This is the Pope, Benedict XVI. This is a picture of uh, the Vatican. Uh, Catholic, those who believe in the Virgin Mary. Virgin, the Virgin Mary, they pray to her, and she's the mother of the church. They believe she remained a virgin throughout her life. And uh, this is a, a picture of inside of uh, the uh, St. Peter Basilica in Rome. And this is a picture of the Pope when he visited uh, the United States. A picture of Yankee Stadium. He held two masses there. All right, thank you for your time.